Hey, Jake here. Welcome back to the Viking Boys. So you've bought a few rental properties and now you're thinking, what do I do? Do I self-manage or do I hire a management company? We're going to go over that now. You've got your rental property and now you're trying to decide management. Do I hire a management company or do I self-manage? Guys, property managers will either make or break your rental property. I know everyone has this, you know, preconceived notion in the back of their head that, you know, rental properties are super scary and self-managing is even scarier because you're going to get these phone calls at two o'clock in the morning of how this toilet's broken, this, that, and the other. Guys, don't believe the hype. So many people buy their first rental property and then they go out and hire a management company. It's actually exactly what we did. We figured we wanted to be hands off. We were going to hire a management company. They were going to run everything. And guess what? The first year or two, it actually went really, really well. But then for some, somehow we got transferred to a different property manager still underneath the same umbrella. And it just went downhill fast. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying they're all bad. You can definitely find good property management companies, but with the barrier to entry so low, and with the cost of you know, property management being so cheap, it makes it really hard to hire really good quality people. So that's what we saw, and that's why we decided to go ahead and pivot and self-manage all of our own properties. This was a little scary in the beginning, but you know, once we got the hang of it, it actually gave us full control. We knew everything that was happening in our rental property. We knew what service orders were getting done. We knew we weren't getting gouged for some of that work. We knew if the tenants needed something and we were screening our own tenants. Instead of having a third party company do it and they might plug in someone that you're not, you know, you might've been a little bit more picky whereas they just want to fill the spot. You can avoid having a bad tenant down the road. Don't get me wrong, self-managing does bring its own headaches. On one of our properties, probably about two to three months ago, you know, we got a couple calls pretty late about a pack of javelinas that had broken into the basement and were causing havoc down there, making all sorts of noises. They smelled terrible and that was tons of fun. But besides that one incident, it has actually been very, very smooth sailing because we're picking our tenants, they know who they're working with, and you know we get to be as picky as possible. One of the biggest recommendations that I have is set expectations with your tenants. Let them know who they will be talking to on your team. Obviously, if you're, if you're just a one-man show, then you're gonna have to be direct with the tenants. But in the beginning, it's not that bad until you have multiple properties. Back to our experience with the property management company. What we started seeing was there's a ton of hidden fees that are, you know, each month taken out of your monthly rental. And they also have an incidentals account, which somehow always seems to be empty. Hmm. I don't know about you, but that sounds a little fishy. And what I can tell you is if this company was doing it, I can guarantee you majority of companies do it. And at the end of the day, what are you really after? You are after cash flow. And with a management company in place, they are going to take away part of that cash flow. A lot of folks that I would think that have rental properties and use a management company, they might only, the only benefit they might be taking away from their rental property is the principal pay down. And if that's your only benefit, if it's actually costing you a little bit of money each month, or you're constantly having to put money back into the incidentals account, little repairs that the tenants are asking for, that the property management company are gouging you for, it's gonna eat into your profits and make it very hard to profit. Guys, at the end of the day, it might seem very, very scary to self-manage. Like I was saying, you're gonna get those calls. You're worried you're gonna get those calls at two o'clock in the morning. And it might be very advantageous for you to think, oh, I'm gonna go with that management company. But guys, at the end of the day, if you haven't been burned by a management company yet, it's just a matter of time. Guys, if you have any questions about managing your properties or what softwares we use to help management, you know, drop us a comment below, send us a DM, but be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, we'll see you soon.